This is a brand new Orbea Orca Aero, a bike that, as you can see, takes aero to the max. But we're not here to talk about the bike today. Instead, we're talking about the group set on this bike, the brand new, very shiny, flagship Shimano Durace Di2 12-speed group set, R9200 to use its proper name. This new group set, as you know, was launched just a few months ago, but this is the first time I've actually seen it with my own eyes. It is rare as hen's teeth. So in this video, I'm going for a first ride and give you my first experience of this brand new group set and try and answer some questions such as, is 12 really better than 11? What are the new brakes like? And what are the ergonomics of the redesigned hoods all about? What I won't do is talk about price and value for money. I'm purely focusing on the performance and the improvements over the old group set in this video. And because this is a top end product where money is secondary to that primary objective to achieve the best possible performance. But we can talk about price and value for money in a future video for sure. And this group set is really important because while you might not be a Durace customer, this group set informs every group set below it. We've already seen Ultegra getting the same design features and we expect 105, Tiagra and Sora eventually over the years to be influenced by the changes we see here at Durace for the first time. So quite an important group set. Another milestone in Shimano's long development of group set. So in this video, go for a ride, see how it performs. Literally my first ride impression. There will be more videos over the coming weeks and months, so make sure you subscribe by hitting the red button down below. But first, let's go into some tech detail, give you a quick recap, and we'll start with looks. And I do think the way a group set looks is really important to many people buying bikes. And because a group set takes up a lot of the bike, especially a chain set, which really draws your eye in. And on my first impression, I've only had the bike for a few hours so far, I'm not that impressed. We've had five years of gloss black and we're looking at another five years of gloss black. And I was hoping for something a bit more modern, a bit more contemporary, a bit of change perhaps, but we got the same familiar design from the old group set. Although they have changed the design of the chain set, I'm not sure about these two ridges along the crank arm and the shape of the arm personally. I don't think it works quite as nice as the old group set, but I'm sure my stance will soften with time. I do like the more compact front and rear mexo. I think they're a successful move. And the smoother, curvier hoods look quite good on first impression. And the brake calipers are much nicer than the old ones. So overall, a better looking group set. It might just have been nice to have a few options perhaps, maybe a silver version alongside the black as well. But there we go. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below. With looks out of the way then, let's talk about some of the tech changes before we hit the road and go for a spin. So it's 12 speed going from 11 speed. This bike here has a 5236 chain set and an 1130 cassette. There are bigger and smaller options available at both ends. It's a semi wireless group set. So the shifters are wireless from the front and rear mechs, which are wired together to an internal frame battery. That internal frame battery gives a claimed 1000 kilometer range and the shifters are powered by a small coin cell battery like SRAM and they last for up to two years according to Shimano's claims, but that's something to test over the long term. The rear mech now has a very neat charge port built into it, the small door here to charge it up. So much easier than the old way of doing it, either down tube, handlebar, or the old module underneath the stem. And there's now Bluetooth baked into the group set so you can very easily connect it to your smartphone, get the latest firmware, customize how it works and other things you can do from there. And a group set is still available with rim brakes, although we have the disc brake version here because as you know, I prefer disc brakes. And there is no mechanical version anymore. It's DI2 electronic all the way. Shimano also launched new wheels as part of a new group set update, which sort of got lost in all the news around 12 speed and semi wireless. These are the brand new C50s. So a good fit and forget option, a good all round wheel set for climbing, racing, and just riding generally. The main news is they're much wider than before, so better for wide tyres that we have here. 21 millimetres internally. They're also tubeless ready. They're using a hook bead, not a hookless bead, so better compatibility with other tyres. And I'll talk about the wheels more in a future video. But now, let's go for a spin and see what the group set is all about.
one of the headline features of this new group set is a move from 11 speed to 12 speed. But can you feel that change out here on the open road? Well, to be honest, not so far. On this 1130 cassette, there's the additional 16 tooth sprocket, which is the main change. And what that does on paper is give you a smoother progression in what Schumacher calls the, the sweet spot zone. That part of the cassette where you spend a lot of time at high speeds and gives you a smoother progression, more one tooth jumps, and should make finding the right gear easier more of the time. But when you're just riding around, bimbling like I am right now, it's hard to tell the difference between this 12 speed and the last gen 11 speed. And it's not quite a transformation that SRAM's 12 speed setup is, which is very different with a focus on wider range, easier gears and high gears. Whereas this feels very familiar to 11 speed. And I know it's something that a lot of people will be very happy and delighted with, especially if you're fussy about your cadence. And many people will be left feeling nonplussed by that change. The other more tangible difference is in the hoods, the shape and the feel. But don't worry guys, it's not a bad change at all. Very similar to the old hoods in fact, so you'll get on with them just fine. So they're a bit taller and they're angled inwards a little bit. And they still fit really nicely in my hands despite that small change. The material, the rubber, is a bit smoother. There's less ribbing, uh, less texture on the hoods. That would be an interesting difference in the rain, uh, slippery conditions, where it works and well or not. And then the shifted buttons are raised from the brake lever, so a bit easier to distinguish when you're going for that gear. Still not quite as easy as SRAM or Campag in having very separate shifters, but a nice change, a nice improvement. And then the other big change we're talking about is the shift speed, which Shimano says is much improved over the old group set by a whopping 58% at the back and 45% at the front. Now, old Shimano Durace, or current Shimano Durace, wasn't a slouch when it came to shift speed, definitely the benchmark. Shimano has a great reputation for front mech shifting performance, but this new one is even better. It's warp speed fast. You can shift down from the big ring to the little ring and back up to the big ring in a nanosecond. It's that quick. And everything I try to do to catch it out doesn't work at all. Just totally unflustered by any amount of gear shifting out the front. So fast and so reliable as well. The improved shifting speed at the back is harder to feel when you're riding. Maybe a bit quicker when you go up to easier gears, but it still feels lightning quick like the old group says. But really it's a front mech shifting that is a big success here. As much as I love one by, and you all know I do, this does make a good case for the future of the front mech. I never thought we'd be saying that to be honest, but there we go. Now, this ride is too short to really get into the brakes. I need to bed them in properly as well. But the first impression is how light the lever feels when you first pull it. With quite a linear lever feel. And then it gets really progressive and you hear and feel the pads hit the rotors. And that's a new servo wave technology carried over from the mountain bike. Brakes designed to improve the feel, control and modulation of the brakes. There's also increased clearance between the pad and the rotors. Get a bit out of saddle. I can't feel any rubbing there at all. I'm giving it four beans. Yeah, I can't detect any rubbing when I'm really giving it everything I've got. Well, nearly everything. What do you make of that then? Hmm. Not so sure personally. Mm. So there we are then, my very first ride on a brand new Shimano Durace Di2 12 speed group set. And hopefully gave you a flavor, a taste of what the new group set is like to use. But a very limited first ride. I will do more videos, more in depth videos on the group set over the coming weeks. So make sure you hang around if you want to see that. 
But hopefully I've given you an experience of what it's like and answers some questions you might have. And I'm sure there's loads I missed. So let me know by leaving a comment down below. What is bloody impressive though, is that Shimano has taken a group set that many of us considered to be perfection and made it better in a number of areas. And while some of those improvements might not be a big deal to you, I'm sure they will be to other people. More gears, faster shifting, better brakes, ergonomics, easier charging and Bluetooth customization. So quite a few changes, better shift speed, that reliability of shifting under any situation and the better brakes that all on first impression seem to stand out as the best features of this new group set. And yes, I know it's an expensive group set when you look at the retail price of it, but the good news is there's already an Ultegra version and that's very exciting as well. Hopefully I get a chance to ride that because that gets all the same technology we have here. Anyway, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you did, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. All right, I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.